Hi, I'm Ted Deutsch. I have the privilege of representing Florida's 22nd Congressional District in the U.S. House. As we mark June as Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month, I'd just like to share my commitment to supporting the 6.2 million Americans living with Alzheimer's, including 580,000 Floridians. The past year has been so difficult for many in the Alzheimer's community. The COVID-19 pandemic produced an 18% increase in deaths among those living with Alzheimer's. And caregivers have faced daunting, really daunting challenges of preventing the spread of the virus, reducing isolation, and balancing many other stressors brought on by this health crisis. So as we work to recover from the pandemic, there's some things we have to do. We must commit to expanding research that will produce effective treatments for Alzheimer's. Strong federal support for research holds the hope of a cure, but it's also a smart investment. In 2020, the direct cost for care for Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia was projected to reach $305 billion, and it's, it's expected to grow to $1.1 trillion by 2050. I'm encouraged by President Biden's recent budget announcement that would increase NIH funding, including to establish a new and important advanced research projects agency that will focus on emerging science and Alzheimer's and cancer and diabetes. And as a vice chair of the Task Force on Aging and Families, I'm going to continue to push for Congress to include $400 billion for home and community-based services in our ongoing infrastructure negotiations. These investments will help to provide much needed relief to family caregivers and improve the lives of those who need care and want to continue to live at home. In Florida, 527,000 caregivers provided 685 million hours of unpaid care in 2020. We can't ignore the important work of caregivers. Caregivers are so essential to their families and to our economy. So even as we were all working through the challenges of the pandemic last year, I was so proud to sponsor the Promoting Alzheimer's Awareness to Prevent Elder Abuse Act. And most importantly, that it was signed into law in the reauthorization of the Elder Justice Act. It would not have happened, would not have happened without the strength of the Alzheimer's advocacy community. So I wanna thank you so much for your tireless efforts. I look forward truly to continuing our work together. And I wanna thank you for your advocacy. I wanna thank you for using your voices to advance this critical cause. And I look forward to continuing to do this work together. Thank you so much.